the National Healthcare Service have been hit by severe drug shortages due to Brexit red tape, guys. I'm going to read into this exclusive from The Independent. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Reading Elite here with an exclusive from The Independent with the headline that the National Healthcare Service, the NHS, has been hit by severe drug shortages due to Brexit red tape. The exclusive reveals that patients are put at risk as the crisis hits supplies of vital antibiotics, HRTs and antidepressants. Um, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not told that we weren't going to get that medicine's something as vital as these would not be hampered too much, would not be hampered by Brexit red tape. Um, this appears to be the different factor on it. Um, what is behind this? I mean, how have we not flashed out a deal? When we flashed out a deal with the, with the EU when it came to the Brexit negotiations, why was not the protection and insurance of making sure that healthcare, medical, uh, medical, uh, medical, medication and all the things that we needed from the EU. Why were they not put into this deal? Because um, this is severely, severely concerning. You know, this is, this, this here, this is killing people. Literally killing people. And not only is it killing people, it is slowing down people's chances of getting better getting healthier which means they're going to be ill for longer it also means that those who need to work are unable to work because they're not fit enough which also means then it regards to a shortage of workers again which means that we have less jobs for, which in turn hampers the uh hampers the business that it has because they're having less workers which then in turn how damages the economy it's a trickle down thing when 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 an engine of something is when the major basic components of a of a state is not functioning. Everything else is affected by it. This is a major hamper, for certain, and and we just we need desperately, desperately need a change in government. Now I know people watching this, rightly so, are skeptical of Labour, and we've talked about this so many times, guys. But damn, we need something different. We do need something different for sure. So, medical shortages in the UK are as bad as they've ever been, says health experts, as a new report warns that Brexit is a major factor in severe supply delays. Now, you won't see that in the front page of a, of a newspaper. They'll, they'll obviously headline something else because they don't want people to know that Brexit is bad. They still, still to this day, they try to say it's the EU's fault or try to brush it that it's always something else. It's, it's, never, it's never Brexit. They always try to do that. Vital antibiotics, hormone replacement therapy, that's HRM, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, that's ADHD drugs, are among those in desperate short supply this winter with the NHS forced to pay over the odds just to get drugs into Britain. Money factor there. So the, the National Healthcare Service needs to pay more just to get these pro, to get the to get the, these medicines that we need. So it's costing them even more because of the Brexit red tape here is what is stating here. You know, hormone replacement therapy, deficit hyperactive disorder. The, these drugs, you know, these drugs are important and they're needed. You know, especially with this cost of living crisis, when people are, are, are get this cost of living crisis is really hitting on people as well. That has that that can lead to them being unwell and and needing certain medications it can lead to people dying as i've said leading british health experts backing a new report on post-brexit problems in the health service which has been shared by the independent has also highlighted recent problems obtaining antidepressant and medication for high blood pressure professor marty mcgean of the london school of hygiene and tropical medicine said the health of patients who rely on these day-to-day -day medications is being put to risk because of very worrying reoccurring shortages. The NHS is unable to stockpile many of these scary drugs because they go out of date. And experts say post-Brexit post red tape is making it harder to get life-saving drugs into the UK when they are needed. Drugs, Some drugs you can freeze and store away and some you can't. Um, I imagined that 
the ones that you can. I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and probably say that they probably do try to try to store them to keep them at long term. But like everything, you know, thing, things a lot of things have expiry dates on them, you know. And um, what good is a drug if it's out of date, you know? Some people might say, oh, a couple of days ain't going to hurt. Well, if it's more than a month out, I probably wouldn't recommend it because you don't know what the effects are. Yeah, you should always be careful whenever you're taking any kind of medication that's, that's well past the expiry date. Uh, I wouldn't even, re <laughs> I wouldn't recommend, even if you had a medication that maybe might be a day or two past the expiry date, that could potentially, that is considered like a life-saving drug, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But I'm not a health expert, so I'd always say consult with your doctor. Just look after yourself is always the best message I say. And if you hear any fireworks in the background, I can't do anything about it. It's uh, 5th of November, guys. Community Pharmacy England, which represents NHS pharmacies, said medicine shortages are as bad as they ever been, explaining that the war in Ukraine and manufacturing problems overseas are to blame, as well as Brexit. There are other factors, but Brexit is the main hampering one because the EU will, will be in the same boat as us, but they won't be as hampered as we are. Britain has experienced a major spike in drug, drug shortages in recent years, according to the British Generic Manufacturing Association, that's the BGMA, which represents Drug manufacturers, the number of high impact medicines with supply problems hitting a two year high of, of 10 in September. The BGMA said that in September, 102 uh, medicine, medicine products were listed as being in shortage, doubling that of the previous high in February 2022. Shortages have affected a range of medicines across the board since Brexit, according to a report by the Independent Commission on the UK EU relations, which points costly which points to costly new, new paperwork and new regulatory barriers as health as major factors. Healthcare think tanks, the Nuffield Trust, which contributes to the report, said there is a significant evidence to indicate that Brexit is having a negative impact effect sorry, on medicine supply, supply as well as staff shortages. The trade deal with the EU, which came into force in 2021, has mean extra costs because of custom declaration and other paperwork. And that's the other thing as well. This is also hampering pharmacies as well. These pharmacies, that basically means is that, you know, like food, the cost of medicines how, uh, whenever you buy it in your local pharmacies, unless you have prescri the prescriptions, they're going to go up because it costs more to get it in because of the, the red tape that we've input, uh, impacted on ourselves. Excuse me. Some of the UK's regulatory processes for medicines are no longer valid in the EU, making it more time consuming and expensive for international med medicine supplies to deal with Britain and creating the delays and extra costs for the National Healthcare Service. The problem of medicines going out of date means that NHS managers and pharmacists cannot stockpile endless supplies of drugs that they are likely to run low of. Mark Dallin, the Brexit programme led at the Nuffield Institute, said, there are more signs of shortages at pharmacies, but there are, and there are more notifications than from companies expressing concern about supply. Mr. Dunham did point out that the medicine shortage are a Europe-wide trend. Okay, so there is a trend in Europe as well. Mm. Noting that there has been a disruption to manufacturing in China, and that higher prices, a result of inflation, are creating problems across the continent. But he said Brexit was a contributing factor for the particularly acute problems in Britain. Brexit certainly isn't helping. There is a general burden on getting goods to the UK, customs declaration, extra checks, which makes it more costly to get medicines into the UK. I want Brexiteers to justify how this is helping the United Kingdom. Please, in the comments down below. He added the UK is not in the medicine supply chain quite like it used to be. Some firms that might have distributed hubs in the UK now have them in EU countries like the Netherlands and Belgium or Germany. Yeah, so that means they will have, while the EU is suffering with, suffering with medicine supplies because of manufacturing issues in China, they will still get medicines more like countries in the European Union will get medicines before we do because of their, because of the relationship obviously that they have with them and it benef is benefit is beneficial to them which means it's obviously going to be harder for us to get medicines so because we're at the back of the queue as uh, barack obama said once said 
The Nutfield Trust said the number of price concessions granted to the NHS by the government, allowing it to pay extra for medicines in high demands during shortages, has jumped recently since the Brexit vote in 2016. The number of concessions was usually less than 20 a month before Brexit. According to the think tank research in 2021, after the Brexit deal was implemented, concessions spiked to around 100 a month. Since the summer of 2022, the monthly rate has somehow exceeded 150. Tama Hervry, professor of EU law at City University of London, said there had been a discernible negative effect from Brexit on medicine supply. Fluoride supply is one of one set of paper for the whole of the EU and a different set for Great Britain, she said. Professor Hervey said international suppliers have to deal with separate batch testing reviews with rules, rules, excuse me. The paperwork requires to show that medicines are being tested properly when delivering to the UK and EU after Brexit. One hopes that the UK and EU could move towards uh, mutually recognising batch testing, she said. The Independent Commission on the UK-EU Relations has called on Rishi Sunak to pursue the mutual rec reconciliation of batch testing standards with the EU to, in an effort to ease some of the problems. <coughs> Anything that eases the problems is, is will be greatly needed, for sure. The communication... Communications Director Mike Buckley said this the poor Brexit agreement we had is making things worse for the NHS, which is already under strain, he added. The health service has already has seen severe disruption to the supply of medicines and medical equipment, as well as access to skilled labour since Brexit. Janet Morrison, the chief executive of Community Pharmacy England, said medicine shortages appear to be as bad as they have ever been and are making life incredibly difficult for community pharmacies and their patients. She added, in recent times we have seen Brexit, the war in Ukraine, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. All of these have put extra stress on the medicine supply chain, stretching community pharmacies financially and often causing unavoidable delays in patient care. Professor McKay said, there are lots of things Brexit is making worse for the NHS. The fact that there are extra problems managing medicines is far from ideal. Medicines go out of date, so it's not possible to stockpile everything. It's very important to match supply with demand when you have these problems in supply chains and non tariff barriers because of Brexit. He added these shortages will cause anxiety, it's having an impact on patients so it's very worrying. Stephen Doreal, who serves as the Health Secretary under John Mayer's Conservative government has said, it's amazing to think Brexiteers thought it was a good idea to disrupt the supply chain and didn't think yeah, medicines would be included. It's another example of how, how we shot ourselves in both feet. Professor Kamala Holdsworth, Chair of the Royal College of GP said, we are now seeing too frequently shortages of a wide variety of drugs. This can be worrying and frustrating for everyone, as well as having the obvious and unacceptable efforts of potentially damaging patient health. President of the Royal Pharmaceutical Society, Professor Claire Anderson, said British medicines are more than acute than they were due to various factors, pointing to manufacturing problems and fewer production facilities. Professor Anderson said the organisation wants to change regulations in England and Wales to help ease med medicine shortages, calling on the government to leave pharmacy thinkers with prescriptions during, shortage, short, during shortages so that patients can be given different qualities or strength. A Department of Health and Social Care spokesperson has stated, Medicine supply problems often occur for a number of reasons, such as manufacturing difficulties, regulatory problems, supply of raw materials, sudden demand or spike or, re or distribution. We have well-established procedures to deal with such issues and work closely with the industry and the NHS and others to prevent shortages and resolve any issues as soon as they arrive. Yeah, because you guys have been doing a great job, yeah, with handling Brexit, haven't you guys? They've done a great job. Yeah, uh, this is very uh, concerning to say the least. You know, people's... People rely on medicines for all sorts of things. As I said at the start of the video, guys, you guys, uh, some of you rely on, probably listening to this now, rely on certain medicines. And perhaps yeah, some of you may have to have be given more or less, depending on the supply that they have. And it's um, it's a worrying trend um, that that we have this. As it said, as it stated there in the article, it's stating that obviously there is a supply issue due to manufacturing problems in China. So it's, it's uh, there are issues in the EU. However, they're not as mediated and as damaging as ours because we also have Brexit red tape, which is having a detrimental effect on the UK. I said they're more specifically in England and Wales, so I'm not going to state on what specifics are for Northern Ireland and Scotland. You guys can say down in the comment section below what, what states of them. But um, no doubt, yes, especially for the likes of a smaller community, smaller pharmacies, as you say, the rural areas, they would be the ones more li likely to be affected as opposed to like the capital of London or somewhere like Manchester 
or the likes of Manchester, the major cities uh, in the UK, in England specifically, in England and Wales like Wales and, and Cardiff and Swansea. Major cities are unlikely to be as affected as it would be for rural areas, so they will be affected, which could lead obviously to without leading to potentially loss of life without getting the medicines and drugs that people need. So it is vital that the reduction of red tape is done as quickly as possible. But the problem is we also have a Conservative government that is refusing to acknowledge that Brexit is a, is a problem. And, there, and while are there are other things going on in the world right now, and I understand that, you know, this is a this is a very serious serious situation and one that we should all be concerned about for sure. But what do you guys make of this? Do you believe that Brexit is causing a major headache for medicines, for drugs in the United Kingdom? Or maybe it's just England and Wales, perhaps in other nations it's not so bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Like, share and subscribe as always. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.